vibrate higher. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity, Qatar. Now, do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. We are all telling ourselves a story. And that day mine changed. You have to clear your own personal blocks, right? You have to be able to be vulnerable in front of anybody. You know, you have to be comfortable looking silly. You have to be comfortable making mistakes. And you have to break the thing inside of you that doesn't want people to see. Right? Because as soon as you allow people to see, all of a sudden you get access to things that you didn't realize you had access to. Right? For me, it, it has been the, to be that guy that does what people say can't be done. You know? And I think it started with uh, trying to please my mother and trying to please my grandmother. And they always wanted higher for me. They always wanted more for me. And it got to the point that I wanted to be something. I wanted to be somebody. And it, it made me uh, choose certain roles. It, it made me turn down certain roles. Um, there is more, more than an image that I want to project. I want to be the person that is the first person there and the last person to leave. That's who I want to be because I think that the, the road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. And it is going to get hard and you're going to want to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. I definitely found that uh, wanting to be an actor stems from wanting to be somebody and wanting to say something to people. As a child, my parents always told me, you could be whatever you want to be. You could do whatever you want to do. And you know, that, that office, that position, the, the highest office on the face of the earth, it was something I heard my parents saying it, but I didn't totally believe it. Yet I went out in the world and I carried myself and I held my head high and I stood there and I looked people in their eyes and I talked to people as if I was deservant of everything that this planet has to offer. So I just, I really wanna say to, to children out there and to, to people who are watching, Confucius said one time, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. So I wanna stand here before you, and as I hold this award, I wanna give love to my wife, and I want you to keep in your heart, just know that you can. Know that you can. I wanna say something that I want you to remember for the rest of your lives, okay? I want you to listen closely. I'm giving you the key to life right now. This is the key to life. The key to life, the key to life is running and reading, all right? Now listen, very serious, the key to life is running and reading, all right? Now, why running? When you're running and you're out there and you're running, there's a little person that talks to you. And that little person says, oh, I'm tired. My lungs are about to pop, oh, I'm so hurt. I'm so tired, there's no way I could possibly continue. And you wanna quit, right? That person, if you learn how to defeat that person when you're running, you will learn how to not quit when things get hard in your life. Running, all right, that's the first key to life. I got this real psychotic thing about like, you know, perfection and working hard. And like real young, I realized that the person that works the hardest wins. And you know, it's like, you know, while, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. The other guy's eating, I'm working. You know, the other guy's making love, 
You're well, making... I, mean, I mean, I'm making love, but I'm, <laughs> I'm working hard at it. Let's make it very clear. You're not making love with that other guy. What you do and do what you love. Millions and billions and billions and gazillions of people that have lived before all of us. There's no new problem you could have with your parents, with school, with a bully, with anything. There's no problem you can have that someone hasn't already solved and wrote about it in a book. So the keys to life are running and reading. The person that works the hardest wins.